Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to install Systemless Exposed by the Magisk Manager. I'll be demoing this on a Pixel 2, so I'll be showing you how to install Exposed Systemless on Oreo pretty much. So of course you'll need the Magisk interface or Magisk to do this and most of it's going to be done on the device. There's only one thing that you need to download from this XDA thread is the special version of the Exposed Installer APK that works with the systemless versions. So if you download the official exposed installer, it won't detect the systemless one. So you'll need to download the APK from this XDA thread. Uh, if you plan on using the systemless one for a while or a long time, then you might want to save this link or bookmark it somewhere, just so you can get the latest exposed installer that works with Magisk. So you need to download this APK where my mouse is. And once you've done that, you can do the rest on your device, which we'll do right now. So first up, you would have wanted to install it or even copy the exposed installer APK onto your phone and from there we'll just install it quickly using our favorite file manager or you could do it through ADB, it doesn't really matter as long as you can install this version of the exposed installer so I'm just going to quickly install that and then once that's done we are going to open up Magisk Manager where we'll install the systemless version of exposed so to do this we'll just quickly go over to the downloads tab and then we can search up exposed or we could go down to the bottom of the list there we go, that should be enough and then you want to download the correct exposed framework for your device so since my phone is on 8.1 Oreo I'll be using the SDK 27 version of the exposed framework so you can tap on it for more info but uh, we'll just tap on the download button there and then tap on install so this is going to download the zip file and of course this is about 14 megabytes so depending on your download speed it will vary on how long you have to wait but after that well, our phone should reboot and uh, we should have Systemless Exposed working. So again, please make sure you have a look at the XDA thread here based on the Systemless version of Exposed. It will tell you which version or which SDK version your Android version relates to. So if I just read it out real quick, SDK 21 is Android Lollipop 5.0, SDK 22 is Android 5.1, SDK 23 is Android 6, which is Marshmallow, then we have SDK 24, which is Android Nougat, and SDK 25, which is Android 7.1 Nougat, SDK 26 is Android Oreo, and SDK 27 is Android 8.1. Now, as with most things, you also have modules that aren't exactly updated to work with... Oh, no, go away. So, as I was saying, not all modules are updated to work with Oreo at this point, so you may have to do some digging before you install these modules, but at the end of this video, I'll show you how to disable all modules in case your phone gets stuck in a boot loop after installing an exposed module. Now one other thing to mention is that if you install Systemless Exposed, you will not pass safety net. And that is, I guess, one thing you can keep in mind. But you may think, well then, what's the point of Systemless Exposed? And I think probably the best thing is that whenever you update your phone and install Magisk again, you don't need to install or reinstall any of your Magisk modules. So you can just pretty much update your phone, flash Magisk again, and then all your modules should still be enabled or still installed, which, uh, which makes it a lot easier when updating our phones. So whenever you can, I guess, try get something that works with Magisk because it's uh, quite convenient to do so. So once the download is finished, you can see the installation that goes just like this, and then tap on that reboot button down in the bottom right hand corner, and wait for our phone to turn on again. And I guess uh, we'll just have a look at the exposed installer. I don't think it's changed much since the last or previous versions, but uh, we'll have a look at one, I guess, uh, maybe a certain add-on or module. Okay, so our phone's turned on again. Let's uh, quickly unlock it, and we'll have a look at the exposed installer APK down here. Be careful, blah, blah, blah. Mm. Okay, sweet. So Exposed is installed properly, you can see that we have the systemless version running and I guess what we can do is go over to download. Now one thing I have noticed with this version of I guess the Exposed installer and also the official one, well one that's not made for Magisk, is that whenever I search for anything, for example I search for, not Exposed, but um, how about that privacy at, uh, module, and then when I tap on one of the items here, uh, X privacy LUA, and then it would crash like that. 
Now I found out if I didn't search for anything and just scrolled through the long list of available modules to download. So if I find P for privacy, which is just down here. Okay, here we are. X privacy LUA. You can see it doesn't actually crash now. So I guess there's just something wrong with um, the search function. But anyways, if you don't see any downloads, just like exposed before, you can change what versions to be shown specifically per module, or you can go into the settings of exposed installer and change the global setting to always show experimental versions. So now you can see the one of these beta versions here. As usual, you just download and install these modules uh, very easily, just like this. And of course, you'll need to reboot. Now, if you experience any issues after installing certain modules, of course, you can uninstall them by deleting the, or disable them at least, via TWRP. And I'll show you how to do that afterwards. And But before you do that, you might want to try wiping the Dalvik cache, as uh, most of the modifications are done through there, or in one way or another. So try wiping the cache if you experience any issues. But other than that, you may need to uninstall the module and see if there's a fix coming out soon for it to work on Oreo 8.1. Now I have tested this one before and it should work just fine. So again, you can just uh, allow from the source and then tap on install. Once that's done, when you open it, it should tell you that you need to enable the module and activate it. So just tick that and then you're going to have to reboot your phone. Now we'll let your phone restart and in the event of a boot loop, you can follow the following instructions. I will now show you how to disable the enabled exposed modules without being able to boot into Android. So in this way you don't also don't have to uninstall Magisk. So what you need to do is reboot into the recovery. So for me I'm going to reboot into the bootloader first. And then once you're in the bootloader, we just select the option to go into the recovery mode, which you should have TWRP installed. But if not, you can just boot the TWRP image. Now this, of course, only works if TWRP can unmount or decrypt your data partition as it needs to access where the data is stored for the exposed installer. Okay, so we need to decrypt our data partition. And then we're going to access one of TWRP's advanced functions, which is just the file manager. So we go to advanced and then file manager. And then where you want to go is to data and then go down to, I mean, yes, down to data again, and then locate the exposed installer. So I think it starts with DE. So we go all the way to near the bottom. Okay, so we have de.robv.android exposed installer. Then we go to shared prefs and then enable modules.xml. You can tap on that and then tap on delete and then swipe to confirm that. Once that's done, uh, you can just reboot the system. And if that doesn't help, go back into the recovery and wipe the cache. And then after that, your phone should boot up just fine with all your exposed modules disabled. And then you can probably work out which one doesn't work for you at the moment. Okay, so our phone's booted up. Obviously, I didn't prove anything, but it did happen to me before and did some quick googling and that's how you should be able to disable all the exposed modules and we can go check I guess if you want kind of a somewhat proof so X privacy LUA the module has been disabled even though we previously enabled it and it worked fine so that's it how to get yourself out of a little bit of a pickle in case that does happen to you if you want to chat a little bit more and you don't really want to leave a comment on YouTube as sometimes it's hard to reply and hard to get notifications for, feel free to join my Discord, there is a link down below, and on there you can chat about anything with me, and I, I'm always at my computer, so most chances, or most likely you're going to find me online playing a game or something like that. And we can talk, or if you need help, you can also get help like that through there. So thanks for watching guys, and as always, happy flashing.